Hey Derp Nation, how's it going? It is I, the Derpy Smiley here coming at you with Survivor Thailand. This is season 5 in the Survivor series, so hope you enjoy. So, we have our competitors, and our competitors are Brenda Songs, Ed Sheeran, Emily Sears, Emma Roberts, Evan Fong, James Hulling, Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lopez, Lynn Miranda, Mark Anthony, Maurice Barnett, Nick Negron, Priscilla Diaz, Sarah Fowler, Serena Williams, and Tyrone Magnus. So, let's get started. Proceed to the opening twist. Tyrone and Priscilla are the oldest. Obviously not true. They select the two tribes. Proceed to the tribes. So now, now we have the Chuyangkuna tribe and the Sokjai tribe. Take a look at the tribe guys. There he is. There's names. So here's the table of the tribe. Tribe and the DTV lines. So the Chuyang tribe lines. Emma, Jennifer, Mark, Lloyd, Jerome, and the second Chuyang tribe lines. Brenda, Emily, and Nick. Proceed to the other tribe lines. The Sukjai, Sukja. Right, these names are actually pretty difficult this time. <laughs> uh, Ed, Evan, Lynn, Priscilla, and Serena make up the first one with James, Jennifer, and Sarah making up the second one. Now proceed to the immunity challenge. Flying your flag. The survivors had to race around a small island by paddling a boat. Along the way, they would have to visit several stations where they would have to complete certain tasks or puzzles in order to receive a tribal flag. However, only one person from each tribe would be allowed to compete at each station. First tribe to have successfully completed each puzzle, gather their flags and race back to the floating dock would win immunity. And the Super Giant Tribe wins immunity, they also win 50 waterproof matches. So she's the tribe event. Emily isolates herself, no one wants to align with her. Okay. And Lynn is rubbing the tribe the wrong way. So that sucks. Now, Tribal Council. Alright, so here are the votes. So here we go. 5 to 3. Nick, the tribe has spoken. Sadly. Dang it. So we'll skip to the next episode. Alright, we'll skip the alliances, go straight to the reward challenge. Palanquin Slalom. Don't know what that is. Each tribe would have to pick one person to act as the guide, while the others would be blindfolded. The blindfolded tribe members would have to carry the guide in the pal palanquin. The guide would navigate them through a course. Along the way, they would find several stations with a tribal the tribal bag hanging from from them. First tribe to have completed the course and collect their bags would win. I'm not even going to try to say their name, but no, it's the other tribe. They win a lantern, fishing supplies, and a 30 meter fishing net. Also, I will leave the code for this in the description below. So, yeah, you know, I always leave the code for this. So, yeah, now we proceed to the challenge, which is a floating puzzle. Each tribe was given a giant floating lotus flower puzzle, missing six pieces. The six pieces were tethered. And floating at equal distance from the flower. The tribe members would have to swim one at a time to a missing piece, unlatch it, then swim back to attach it to their tribe flower. First, try to have successfully retrieve all six pieces and place them correctly on their flower would win. And the Sukjai tribe wins. Now we proceed to tribe events. Emma isolates herself. Okay. Priscilla and Sarah have a minor fight. And here's elimination. Five votes to two. Emily, the tribe has spoken. If you guys want to read this for yourself, like I said, uh, the definitely the um, anything that I skip, the code is in the description, so you guys can try to read it for yourself if you guys want to. It's up to you, honestly. So Emily's gone, and now we're gonna go straight to the reward challenge again. The tribes had to race along a narrow bamboo course over water. At the center of the course was an attack zone where two boats, one for each tribe, filled with baskets. Uh, wait. Where two boats, one for each tribe, filled with baskets. Their goal was to negotiate, negotiate the course, steal a basket from the opposing team's boat, return it to their own team's starting boat. If at any point a tribe member was not in the attack zone when they made contact with their opponent, they will be disqualified and the tribe will lose a basket to their opposing tribe. First tribe to steal 10 baskets wins. The 
sub trade sub J tribe wins the reward, they win a visit from the Thai Red Barrett Special Forces soldiers. The soldiers would help improve living conditions back at camp for 24 hours. Now, immunity challenge. Temple transfer. Each tribe was given three stations and one temple made up of six pieces. The goal was to transfer one piece of the temple at a time from the first to the third platform and reconstruct the temple identically. The catch was that they could never place a larger piece over a smaller piece. First tribe to successfully rebuild their temple would win. The Sochi tribe wins again. So now we move on to the Chuyan tribe for the Tyrone Bond. And there's nothing happening in the Sochi. So here we go. So Alright, four to Emma. Try this go. Now there's only five people left in the Chu Chuyagan tribe, and there's still eight people in the Sochi. Reward challenge. Alright, bringing a 250 pound, 10 foot tall dummy acting as their new tribe mate, the tribes must navigate the dummy across the island. First to complete the task wins a reward, the Sukjai tribe wins, they win plentiful supplies of ripe bananas and chickens. Now Tandy Graham, working in pairs, the tribes have to solve two puzzles. Seven distinct shapes were provided and the shapes would need to be assembled to form an image that perfectly matched the two images displayed in front of them. The first tribe to solve the puzzles correctly would win immunity, and the Chuigan tribe wins immunity. Finally, they won. Alright, nothing happens in the Chuigan tribe, and the Sokujai tribe alliance number two is now a very weak alliance. See the tribal council. Here we go. Alright, we skip all that. Five to three, Sarah. The tribe has spoken. So Sarah is gone. Um, I think her engineer would have to afford to win immunity. So this somehow seems fitting. Alright, so here we go, now we're going to proceed to the next twist. Castaways are given opportunities to mutiny the other tribe. Anyone who does so will leave their tribe and join the other. That's for L mutinies to soak J tribe. So nice, I think we have two Jen uh, Jennifer Lawrence. So I think we have two Jennifers now. Proceed to mutiny. The mutiny. Chuyan tribe, soak J tribe. So now, here we go. Now there's three here. And there's eight here, so they have all eight again. How does that even work? Wow. Alright, so we're gonna skip the alliances. Reward challenge. Actually, no. Yeah, reward challenge. Survivor auction. Okay, nothing here is. What? Why? Why is that a thing? Community challenge. On separate. Alright, catch the day. On separate platforms, each tribe was given four different types of fish that had been mixed together in a massive pile. The tribes had to separate the four types of fish into four. Um, respective bins. First tribe to have successfully separated each type of fish to their corresponding bin with a win. The Silk Jack tribe wins again. They, they're like outnumbering the, the Chugan. Tyrone and Maurice have a minor fight. Silk Jack behavior with JLo is becoming appreciated around camp. So now the castaways vote and 3 to 1. Brenda, the tribe is spoken. So now Mark Anthony and Maurice. Tyrone are left in Chugan, and even though the Silk Jai lost the competitor, the Lawrence had to switch to the mutinied. So now this year, James, the two Jennifer, landed Priscilla and Serena are now all on this team. So now, war challenge. Wicker Flicker, each tribe would have to learn the person to be a ball launcher, while the others were situated at four different stations spread out along the beach. Using giant wicker baskets attached to poles, the survivors would have to catch balls from their own launcher while trying to keep opposing tribe members from catching balls up from their own launcher. First tribe to have caught five of their balls would win. And the Chu Chu Chuyagan tribe wins the reward. I feel stupid every time I say that, but oh well. They win an authentic Thai feast. Proceed to the immunity, Thai 21. There were 21 flags. Placed in a circle, alternating turns, the tribes were allowed to gather one, two, or three flags at a time. The goal was to be the tribe to get the last remaining flag. The tribe to get that flag would win immunity. So honestly, getting the other flags actually did not matter. You just have to keep taking until they get the last one. So the Silk Jai tribe wins again. So proceed to tribe events. Nothing happens in the Chuigan 
and nothing happens with Soap Guy. So, right here, final results two votes Maurice, one vote Tyrone. Maurice, the tribe has spoken. So here we go. Now, there's another twist. A fake merge occurs? How do you fake merge? Alright, well now let's see how everything looks like now. Chiang Tribe Alliance 1, Tyrone, Jennifer, and Mark. Alright, so let's just take a look at all this. See how you guys like that. Alright. So jailbreak. Shackled by locks. Each team would be placed in a jail cell. Using the resources on the ground, the survivors had to escape the cell by reaching for the keys that hung on posts outside of the cell. First tribes have gathered the keys, locking the shackles, and dig out of jail would win. And the two young tribes would win the unity. But wait, what's the fake merge? How does that work? Alright, nothing happens in the Chuizan tribe. There's James and Evan bond a lot. Now let's see who goes home. So 7 to 1, Lynn, the tribe is spoken. Alright, and I guess the teams are back together now. Okay, so let's see what we're here. Using 8 individual bamboo snork snorkels for each tribe. Uh, for each tribe, the survivors had to submerge themselves underwater and breathe through the snorkel. Once a tribe member came up for air, their time was stopped. The tribe with the longest cumulative running time under underwater would win. And even though they only have two people, I guess they're really good at holding their breaths because Mark and Tyrone win immunity. So now we proceed to the tribe events. See here, Mark is rubbing the tribe the wrong way, so that means only rubbing Tyrone the wrong way. And nothing happens in the soup jai except for the elimination that is happening right now. Five to two, and the tribe has spoken. Let's get to the next episode. So there we go. Eight players are left. So now here's the real merge. Here we go. Uh, tribe alliances. Let's take a look. This is where things change. And now we proceed to the reward challenge. Wicker Ball Relay. Pairing up, each group of survivors would race through an obstacle course with various tasks to perform along the way. First team to successfully complete the course and cross the finish line wins and moves on to, to, on to the next heat. This continued until the final round, where the last remaining pair would compete against each other on a puzzle. First person to complete the puzzle would win a reward, and then after Lawrence wins the reward, she wins a video of the winner's love loved ones from home. Chiefs of Immunity. Survivors had to compete in a mathematical test. First a simple elimination round of test a round tested the survivor's memory skill matching tie numbers with numbers in English. Second round requires problem solving using tie numbers as coordinates. Contestants had to find ten buried tiles. Each uncovered the uh, each uncovered tile revealed the location of the next tile. The first contestant to recover all ten of their tiles wins immunity. And James Asian wins the immunity. Wins the immunity. So J Lo and Mark have a minor fight. Here we go. Tribal Council. Five to three. Mark tries to go. Now step up for Asian Bane and reward challenge. Wow, this is long. Competing in pairs, survivors would have to race in a four-stage obstacle course. Each stage was designed to eliminate players. First stage, the castaways had to pair up with the remaining players instantly. Main players instantly eliminated. Then the pairs had to negotiate their way across flowers. Uh, I mean, across towers, not flowers. My bad. Across towers, using two wooden planks to bridge the gap. The gaps. First two pairs to successfully make it across would move on to the next stage. Belly crawl under a bamboo course. Uh, next stage of belly crawl under the bamboo course. The first three survivors to finish the belly crawl would move on to the third stage, a wall climb in which they had to use the aid of another competitor to help each other over. The first two to climb over the wall would move on to the final stage of a race along the bamboo balance beam. The first person to complete the balance beam across the finish line would win. Serena wins a trip to the mainland. An elephant trek to the Thai jungle along with an authentic Thai, Thai lunch. She shares, she shares it with Priscilla. Now for the unity challenge. The challenge tested the survivor's knowledge of Thai culture as each castaway had to answer multiple choice or true or false questions. 
Each tribe member who answered the question correctly was permitted to snuff out the competitor's torch. The survivor left with a wood torch would win, as it was the immunity. Give your game looks coming appreciated. So here we go. Here we go. Come to us. 5 to 2. Carol, try this one. Get to the next final 5. Give me final 6. For a challenge, the loved ones will compete against each other in a bug eating contest. If you, if a loved one does not want to cooperate, they will be disqualified from the challenge. Going, going home with any hugs, going home without any hugs from their survivor. The last loved one to finish their food is eliminated. The last one standing wins. The win will be counted as a victory for their survivor. Sola wins the reward. She wins a stay from a loved one at the Choi J. J, uh, J camp for 24 hours. Proceed to immunity challenge. Let's go. Tied with their loved one, the survivors had to gather their own mishap, misshapen, uh, misshapen pieces from a nearby pile and fit the assorted oversized pieces in such a way that they construct a colored cube. First person test successfully constructed their colored cube would win. Serena wins it. So that means she definitely gets into the final five. James and JLo bond a lot, and who does not get to go to the final five? So it was tied three, and now three to one. Jennifer Florida to try to scope it. So here, here are our final five. You reward challenge. Let's go. Alright, so the tribe had to race to solve a word puzzle. First, they had to collect a series of pl card, uh, pl cards, place cards, each bearing an English letter, which they would have to acquire at successive stations along the course. Along the course, once they had gathered all the letters, they would have to unscramble them to form two mystery words. First person to spell out the words correctly would win. Evan with the Chevrolet Trailblazer and the full tie dinner and massage. He shares a reward with J Lo. Awesome. The one heaven. The survivors would start at the base of a 10 step staircase. Each step of the staircase was part of the jigsaw. The pieces of which lay in a jumble at the foot of the staircase. The survivors had to gather their missing pieces and build their way to the top of the stairs to the finishing platform. The first person has successfully completed the sta their staircase and climbed to the top and went. J Lo wins the immunity. Nothing happens here. So now let's see who goes. Four to one. James, tribe has spoken. We go. Evan is the last male left. So the immunity challenge. Let's see what it is. The survivors would compete in an obstacle course that used elements of past challenges. First, they would have to dig deep into the sand to retrieve a wicker ball and race over a bamboo balance beam. Next, they would have to push the wicker ball through a fishnet and place the ball on a pedestal. The next stage consisted of solving a puzzle which would release a knife. They were then to take the knife and cut the rope that released the bag of material that would help negotiate their next test of retrieving a key from inside a jail cell. The final stage was a surprise tied delicacy and the first person to consume it would win immunity, thus ensuring themselves a spot in the final three. JLo wins the immunity. Right, the original Sukhjai tribe is now a medium strength line. That was clear enough. Chief Tribal Council and Three to one, Evan tries to spoken. So now, here we go. Here's the finale part two. Alright, the final immunity. Castaways must hold a tie pose while holding points between their fingers. They have the points. They are out of the challenge. Let's just standing with immunity. So, Priscilla wins. And she had, now has a spot in the final two. Proceed to tribe events. Serena isolates herself, okay. And that means that she's gone. Serena, the tribe has spoken. Skip to the final tribal council. JLo and Priscilla face the jury. Proceed to reunion show. And now let's get the winner. So here we go. And the winner of Survivor Thailand is JLo. She wins by five to two. Now, let's skip to the fan favorite. Jennifer Lawrence wins fan favorite. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.